first deployment when we just sort of rolled into Baghdad and people were taking down statues and cheering and everything, you really had a sense that this was going to turn into a humanitarian mission, that we were really there to win hearts and minds. We were going to build something. But some of the guys had a saying from Vietnam, let me win your hearts and minds or I'll burn your damn huts down. And one of my drill sergeants used to say, when you want to finish someone, when you're clearing bodies in the fields, that's how you do it. One in the heart, two in the mind. A lot of the techniques were not like something we were trained in. We're just grunts, you know. I mean, orders come down and they're very nonspecific. Like, uh, do whatever is necessary to do to obtain the objective. Like that. Whatever means necessary. So you hear things in the mess hall or whatever, like the, that battalion intelligence is doing certain things. Techniques, like uh, waterboarding, tasers, cattle prods military police dogs, and the electric chair stress position. And we get curious. Because we're out there, and we need to get info too. Our lives are on the line, and they don't teach us any of this. So we heard about waterboarding, and we were talking about it. We were in a town for the night, and my squad leader was like, we need to try that out. That might be useful in the field. And so we all agreed, so we said, let's do it to the next person we see. And it just happened to be a guy about our age. He was walking out in the street alone, and we stopped him, and we gagged him, and we flexicuffed him, and dragged him into one of the buildings. We found a plastic bag that we used. So we tried it out. We waterboarded him. We learned how it worked. We had our fun, and then we let him go. It wasn't like, you know, something I would have just done on my own. It was like research. Group research. Whatever. I think the one thing I hated worse than anything or anybody was myself for what I was turning into over there and how much I enjoyed it. To this day, I still have a problem not hurting people because I want to. I want to hurt people. I go out to the bar and I just want to get into a fight with one of those normal fucking people. I want them to feel the pain that I feel inside, but I want theirs to be physical. I don't know. It's hard to explain. Like, I just want to hurt people, and it makes me feel evil, psychotic. And my wife doesn't understand that when I get angry, I just want to hurt people. I go out and I pick fights. I go out and I beat people into fights with me just so I can hurt them. And she just doesn't understand why. I don't know how to explain it to her. I like to break people's bones in a fight. I mean, I was trained in the Army and, you know, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. And... I don't go toe-to-toe with people. I take them to the ground and I break something. I want to hear it snap. I want to hear them scream. It makes me feel better. It's like me releasing the scream myself. I'm a fucking monster, okay? I know that now. I got kids, you know? And I don't want them to know who I am and what I've done. 